Welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. Today we're going to do some Penelope. Penelope Batch 10 cast strength is finally here in my life. And uh, I want to know if it beats my previous favorite, Batch 9. Now, this is my Penelope flight board. I custom made this out of a barrel head that Penelope sent to me as kind of like a wall decoration or whatever. But I put some feet on the back of it and then drilled six holes in it because I have six different bottles of cast strength Penelope, as you may have seen in my other post yesterday. And, um, and so I can do all six of them and as I get more bottles, I'll just drill in extra holes until we're all the way around this thing. and. Who knows what happens from there. So I have five through now ten in my collection. Yesterday, I went through and compared five through nine to make sure which one was my favorite so far. And and it is batch nine. And I have this cool little, <laughs> uh, little lanyard, I guess, that I made out of a barrel stave and a Penelope cast strength cork to let, so that I can easily see which one is my favorite. It's like an award. I gave a little award to my Penelope's. So we're going to compare batch 9 to batch 10. Now I didn't end up tasting batch 10 yesterday when I was doing the comparison. I was planning to go all the way through and just see where we were at and get a baseline. And I didn't end up doing it. I tried to take video of that whole thing. But it was just too noisy outside. It was raining. And and so I ended up stopping. And I never got to batch 10. So I still haven't tasted batch 10. I'm going to taste it and nose it and taste it for the first time right now. So let's baseline ourselves again with batch 9 before we go into batch 10. <sighs> Syrupy. The wheat really shows through. Lots of vanilla, lots of cream, a nice amount of rye. The wheat spice is there. It's fruity. There's like some blackberry, like blackberry jam. And there's also, there's a little spicy note that's there that I can't quite put my finger on. It's a certain spice. It's not nutmeg. It's not cinnamon. That's not the one I'm looking for. It's, I can't think of what it is, but it's driving me crazy. It's been driving me crazy since yesterday. And I cannot decide what that is. But let's taste. Mmm. Coffee. Butterscotch, ooh, really butter, goes really butterscotch. Vanilla, caramel, maybe white pepper, and rye, the wheat shows up. Yeah, that's my favorite Penelope cast strength so far. Let's go 10, let's see. This smells like less alcohol in the nose, and it is not. It's actually more. This is 115.6, and this is 115.8 proof, but interestingly enough, it smells milder on the nose. This is a little more ethanol sharp. This is... Is that like pecan loaf pecan roll no fruitcake like Christmas fruitcake because there's like candied notes in there there's nuts there's fruit that's like fruitcake and it comes off very mild alcohol wise Okay. Oh, I just got a hint of 
of like a candied or mm, yeah like candied nuts okay let's taste like poppycock like caramel coated candied molasses drizzled popcorn with nuts wow okay let's taste Oh, that's beautiful. The nose is very different than the palate. The palate is just creamy and just undulating and, and then it goes into like a black or dark tea note into the finish. The finish ends with tea and vanilla. Now I kind of get the, the tea note on the nose now. It's like the smell of a tea bag after you pull it out of the water. Oh, that's beautiful. That's just super delicate and pretty and really well balanced. It's not a bunch of like crashing waves of flavor. It's just one nice, beautiful landscape <laughs> of flavors. There's nothing like crazy going on. This is more of a storm. Wow, this was my favorite previous to this. And comparatively, this is sharp and fighting with itself compared to how cohesive and pretty this is. Oh, 10 is just gorgeous. Just, wow. That's a mouth experience, because it just, it's just pretty and there, and then it just like rolls very smoothly into the finish, and there's no, nothing fighting you. That's just a beautiful experience to, to drink. Wow, okay. Whoop. My new favorite is 10. That's crazy because this, this was my favorite and I really liked it, and comparing them, this makes this look not bad, but just not as not as good. Not even close. Ten is just gorgeous. Well, shit. If you see ten out there in the wild, I recommend you grab one. That's phenomenal. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, I hope you have a great day.